Hi, I'm Margie Remmers Davis with Crystal Clear Cashflow, creator of the fast and easy way to QuickBooks Online Pro Advisor certification. Today, we're going to be walking through one of the exercises from our advanced level course, Section 1, Lesson 2, which is about classes and locations. Now, there are two practice exercises in this, uh, in this lesson. Both of them are optional. There's really very little that you have to know about this topic for the purposes of the test. So these exercises are really just for your edification so that you can get a feel for how this, um, how this works. This particular exercise, which is going to be about creating and using locations, is going to be a long one. So I don't want you to get too caught up in this particular exercise for the purposes of the test. Just use the, use the course materials and you'll be fine. But um, if you really want to learn about uh, the nitty gritties of how to use locations, then buckle up because there's a lot of stuff to cover and we have to cover it all in one lesson because it requires a lot of setup um, in the sample company. All right. So let's take a look at our scenario. By the way, this would be a good time for me to tell you that if you would like a copy of this exercise, um, you can find a link in the uh, in the section in the description about uh, the the courses and how to get just this exercise. Um, as I mentioned, this is an advanced level exercise, so I am going to kind of go quickly, and I'm going to expect that you know um, how to click around and and do things. And in order to take the the advanced level course, you do have to have your basic certification, but all of that is in the description. So let's get back to our scenario. Okay. All right. Craig's business has really grown. So he has opened up a new East Coast office. He will need to track all income and expenses for this location and the new address 456 12th Street Northwest, Albany, New York, 12212 will need to be on all his sales forms. How would you help him set this up? All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to log into the sample company, which I have done right over here. Um, and then we're going to have to turn on the locations feature. We do that under the gear icon in account and settings. On the advanced tab, right here, this section called categories, and there is the locations. We're going to turn this on. Now, you'll notice that I have the option to change the location label. This is one of the advantages that locations has over, um, over classes, is that you can change this to be department or property or territory, whatever. For the purposes of this exercise, we're just going to leave it as location. Okay, so I'm going to click save and then done. Now, once I have set up the locations or now once I have set up the feature, now I have to set up the actual locations. All right, so I'm going to do that again under the gear icon. Oops. There we go, your gear icon. Now I'm going to go to all lists. And since I have the location feature turned on, I now have the locations um, option right here. Okay, there aren't any locations set up. So first we're going to set up our west location. Um, so this is the main location. The reason that I'm giving it a name um, is that, um, as you'll see when we look at some of the sales forms, there isn't really a way to leave it blank. So um, I'm just going to give this a name, but I'm not going to change any of the other things that you have that any of the other options that we have here, because this is just going to be our main um, office. All right. So that's West. And then I'm going to set up our new East Coast office. So here is East. And let's take a look at these different options. This is another reason to use locations versus classes because classes, as if you saw, if you went through the classes exercise, um, doesn't have these doesn't have these options. So uh, there's sublocation, 
we can say that this location has a different title for sales form. So for example, if Craig um, called his East Coast office Craig's East or something, and that needed to show up on sales forms, you could change that. Um, the company name for communicating with customers. Um, there is it, this location has a different address. Well, in our scenario, we do have a different address. So we have to check this one and put in the new address. So this address that you're seeing right here, that comes from our account and settings. That's the main address for Craig. But we're going to change this to 456 12th Street. 12th Street Northwest, Albany, Albany, New York, 12212. Okay, so we're going to leave that. We don't need uh, a different email address. We don't need a different phone number. Uh, we're just going to do that address. All right, so now we're going to click Save. And now we have our locations. And I forgot to give you that step, which is set up the locations. That's what we just did. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use the reclassify tool to change some of our past transactions. And um, the first one is for Pies Cakes. So Pies Cakes uh, is located in, I believe it's New Jersey. So we're going to move that to the East Coast location. So we're going to go to Accountant Tools, Reclassify Transactions. And then for the dates here, um, in the exercise, I have, I suggest that you put in January 1st of last year. Um, I have no idea how far, how they work the sample company and how far the transactions go go back. And of course, I have no idea when you're actually going to be doing this exercise. So um, just to be safe, just to make sure that you're getting all the transactions, just go back to January 1st. And um, unfortunately, you can't just type it in. You have to actually click through. Um, and then we're going to put in through today. Okay. All right. So and let me just make this a little bigger. So it's all on one line. There we go. All right. So now um, we are going to look for pies cakes. Okay. And this one I can type in. So I'm just going to type in pies cakes and find the transactions. There's two of them. So I can click the little box on top to select both of them, hit reclassify, change the location to east, and apply it. Okay. I also want to um, change the location for Hall Properties. Pies Cakes is a customer. Hall's Properties is a vendor. So I'm going to change to Hall's Property, Hall Properties, Find Transactions. And then this one, I'm also going to reclassify as East. Okay. All right. So now the next thing we need to do is anything that doesn't have a location specified, we want to change that to West. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to have location as none. And we want to make sure and make this our customers and vendors as all, and then hit find transactions. Now, there is one transaction in this list that is problematic, that if you try and reclassify it, um, your sample company will just hang. It'll just hang forever and you'll never be able to complete this exercise. So what you wanna do is um, first click, check the box at the top and then you're gonna look for this problematic, um, you're going to look for this problematic uh, transaction, which is this one right here, this deposit savings. OK, and we're going to uncheck that one. So uncheck that one and then reclassify, change the location to West and click apply. And then we're going to have to do this because there are several pages of transactions. We're going to have to do this a couple times, always remembering to uncheck this deposit uh, to savings guy there because that is some kind of a glitch that caused me lots of grief in putting together this exercise. 
All right, so uh, change that one. And then we're gonna do it again. Again, we have to do this a couple of times because there are so many transactions. Um, change that to West. All right, now in addition to that little deposit guy that doesn't um, that doesn't uh, reclassify, these two sales tax payments will also not reclassify. That's fine, at least they give, give you a little error message about that. With this deposit one, it'll just hang your screen. So just, uh, just don't do those. All right, so I'm gonna do these last little two here, change it to West. All right, so now I have done my past transactions. Let's create some new transactions. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create an invoice for Pies Cakes. So I go to my new button, um, select invoice. I put in Pies Cakes. And you'll notice right here, this location says west. I'm not sure why it says west. It should normally, as it says in your exercise, it'll usually pick the one that's first in the list. So unless I accidentally um, did something wrong previously, normally it would say automatically east there just because it's the first in the list. But here is where you specify the location. We are going to, uh, sell pies, cakes, a rock fountain. And then once I have done that, I'm going to click, can you see it here? Yes, print or preview. So when I click print or preview, then I have to click print or preview again. It's not a typo in the exercise. You have to click the same words twice. Um, then what it's gonna show me is what the invoice actually looks like. And you'll notice right here, exactly what I wanted, come on circle. Oh, my circle doesn't wanna go on the actual invoice, but here my, you can, hopefully you can see my, uh, my arrow pointing. Here is the address that we put in that's specific to this location. So because we selected East, then it knows to put that on the invoice because that's what we selected in that setting, okay? All right, so we are going to go ahead and close this and save and close. All right, so that's an invoice. Now let's take a look at a bill. So let's set up, create a bill from Hall Properties. Let me put up my instructions here. So you know what we're doing? Okay, create a bill for hall properties. And you notice here again, the location. And this one, this time it does say East, which is usually for the first time that you create a vendor, um, it sh should be just the first one in the list here um, because it's alphabetical. But then after that, in future ones, it will remember that hall properties had the East location. Okay, so this is our east location. I'm gonna go ahead and save and close. All right, so now that we've created that bill, let's go ahead and pay the bills. Um, this is one of the things that you can do with locations that you cannot do with classes. So if I go to my new button and click pay bills, You'll notice there is on the filter here, I have the option to filter by location. I Even if I had classes turned on, I would not be able to filter by classes. So I can say, hey, I only want to view the bills for the east location. So I'm gonna click uh, apply. And then here we are with hall properties. And so I can just hit $900 and save and close. Okay, all right, so now we have set up our locations. We have applied locations to past transactions. We've seen how we apply um, locations to new transactions. Let's run a report for a profit and loss that is just the east location, okay? So profit and loss for just the east location. So I'm gonna go to reports. 
and I'm going to scroll down here, you'll notice that there is a report that is profit and loss by location. And sometimes the sample company does not behave. So when that happens, just refresh the screen and usually that will clear it up. All right, here we go. Here is our profit and loss by location. Before I do anything else, I'm gonna change this to all dates because this is the sample company and who the heck knows you know, what's in there. So we're just gonna say um, all dates and you'll notice that we have our East Coast transactions and our West Coast transactions. But I wanna just run a profit and loss for just East Coast. Well, the way that I do that is I go to customize and then I am going to select, and I could of course change the report to all dates right here. Um, I'm going to filter and select for the location, I'm going to select just the East Coast trans East Coast location and run report. Okay. Now notice that when I do that, I have my East Coast column and I have my total column. Well, this is all just East Coast. So there's really no reason for me to have this East Coast as a column type as a column title. So I can just take that off again by going into the customize and right here where it says columns instead of locations, I can specify total only. So if I hit total only and then select run report, now this is just a profit and loss by uh, for the East Coast transact uh, for the East Coast location. The problem is that the report doesn't actually say that it's just the East Coast location. So it would be a good idea for me to change the title and say something about the fact that it's East Coast. All right, so that is today's exercise. If you found this exercise helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you would like to be notified every time that we create a new video like this, make sure and subscribe and click the little bell. Um, and if you have any questions about this exercise or about our courses in general, just comment below and I will be sure and get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, of course, uh, I walked through this really fast because this is an advanced level exercise. So if you would like to get a copy of it yourself so that you can walk through it a little bit more slowly and have all the specific steps, information about that is in the uh, is in the description as well. All right. And that's it for today. I will see you next time.